If you don't like what you see on TV, you change the channel, right? If you do not want the negative thoughts you have, can you do the same? Change the channel? Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. The enemy wants to devour you by taking control of your mind, by keeping you bound with negative thoughts. So you will never reach your full potential. You would have existed, but not truly lived. The mind is the foundation of who you are. The Bible says that out of it flows issues of life. It is the battleground for the enemy. It is where the battles are won or lost. Whatever or whoever controls your mind controls your life. A film producer is a person who oversees film production. They handle the planning, selecting the script, coordinating, writing, directing, and editing. You might not have control over every situation in your life, but you are the director of your mind. It belongs to you, your thoughts. You get to decide what you want to think about. You choose your thoughts. Thoughts may not change the situation, whether negative or positive, but it will affect the way you respond. The types of information you gather will determine the types of thoughts and emotions that you will have. Philippians 4 verse 8 says that whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Paul wants us to have good thoughts, to feed our minds with good food, a healthy mental diet. But let's not kid ourselves. Believe, <laughs> I believe in positive thinking. But if there weren't negative thoughts, there would be no need for positive ones. Negative thoughts will come. It's life. They are real. But remember this. It is your show, your movie. You get to decide how your story goes. When those negative thoughts come, you have to ask yourself, is this what I want to think about? Is this how my story goes? Let's take, for example, a TV remote. It's used to turn the TV on and off and to change the channel. But if you have no signal, the remote and the TV will not correspond. You will need an open path between the transmitter and the receiver. My signal is my relationship with the Lord, the Holy Spirit. What's yours? You hold the remote to your mind. You get to change the channel whenever you want. If you are overwhelmed with negative thoughts, you can change them because you get to decide what you want to think. The same way you would change the channel on your TV, change your thoughts. I do understand that this is not something that is very easy to do because oftentimes the negative overrides the positive, but it comes with practice. But wait a second. If you live in a house with multiple people, it is the person who holds the remote that has the power. Who's holding the remote to your mind? Guys, Satan, is his strategy is very clear. He wants to influence your mind with ugly and negative thoughts, which are usually lies and deceptions. Anything contrary to the word of God, he will incite you, stir up anger, make you feel as if you are nothing, that the world is against you, fill your mind with fear. Remember, he is the father of all lies. First Chronicle 21 says that, and Satan stood up against Israel, and, and provoke David to number Israel. David was a man after God's own heart. 
but he was stirred up by the devil to go against what God wanted him to do. This shows that even those of us who are close to the Lord, who has a deep relationship with him, will sometimes be tempted by the devil. We'll also be overwhelmed with negative and wrong thoughts. We all have negative thoughts, but it's how you decide to respond that makes the difference. Have you tried to change your channel and it didn't work? Maybe you need new batteries or you may need a new signal. I'm Alison Cornelius and thank you for joining me.